The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hey folks, Fred Golifauer here for this week's video fishing forecast. And uh, a lot of good action uh, this week despite the strong winds. It's been blowing 20 to 30 pretty much every day since last Saturday. Uh, looks like it's going to come around a little bit. The weekend doesn't look bad. I'm seeing reports from 5 to 15 miles an hour um, out of the north and northwest. So uh, the weekend should be good. Uh, tonight, Friday, uh, still looking if you're going to get some strong winds, but um, the weekend's looking good. 20-pound uh, bluefish. Again, we've spoken about it before. Um, it used to be a rarity. Now it's just getting crazy. Um, last week alone, uh, bluefish of 23 and 26 pounds. Uh, they were both caught on the capture pride. A lot of other big blues not even being reported. Um, this week, uh, we had uh, a 25-pound bluefish caught off the beach in Sound Beach. Uh, by uh, Kenny Hirsch, uh, that was caught in a popper, that was again off the beach, off the surf. So if you ever wanted to catch a 20 pound bluefish, now is definitely the time. And, uh, and there's been uh, a lot of big bluefish up in the sound, up, up in the harbors especially. Um, Mark, uh, up, in, uh, up in Northport, uh, Northport Harbor, he had, uh, so actually he lost count of the number of bluefish he caught on Saturday. Said he had them from 9 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon, virtually every cast. He had them up to 19 pounds. So, again, just uh, crazy the size of the bluefish this year. Uh, striped bass fishing is in full swing, uh, both boat and surf. Uh, at a tree, the fish finder, I uh, had a couple of excellent trips. Uh, limit catches, you know, 100 plus fish, uh, a lot of fish being returned, catch and release fishing going on. Uh, if the boat limits are filled, and uh, during the day it's a lot of uh, a lot of clam chumming. Uh, at night, uh, live eels, sometimes uh, plastics, you know, casting also. But uh, again, fishing's really good. Not just Fire Island. Uh, the Captain Dave at a Rockaway Inlet at Sheepshead Bay, um, he had a full passenger limit on uh, on Monday night's trip, and uh, and there's some nice fish also mixed in on these uh, on these open boat trips too. Up fish up to 30 pounds. Uh, bottom fishing's uh, strong. Uh, blackfish, blackfish season's gotten off to a good start. It's maintaining uh, that pace. Uh, there are still a lot of a lot of short fish. Uh, some of the bigger fish are being caught out in deeper water now, and not a lot deeper, but like up in the sound, uh, maybe up to 30 feet, 35 feet of water. Still fish in 15 feet of water, 20 feet of water. Uh, a lot of guys are going to the jigs, jigs tipped with green crabs, and that's really a lot of fun, especially uh, you know, on, on a little lighter tackle. Uh, it's a nice way to, nice change of pace for uh, catching blackfish. Um, out on the North Fork, uh, prime time, had a limited tog along with a bunch of big sea bass and porgies. Uh, so, you know, the North Fork's got the good fishing, a lot of the better black fishing around Fishers Island. On the South Shore, uh, Offshore wrecks, again, very good sea bass fishing. Don't forget, sea bass fish, fishing outside the three mile limit is open again. Uh, since this past Saturday, the federal, federal regulations um, allow sea bass again. And, uh, and along with those sea bass, they're catching big porgies, they're catching some cod, and they're also catching some big bluefish on those wrecks. Uh, the Superhawk had a really good day on Monday. Uh, low to sea bass, up to six and three quarter pounds. That's a big sea bass. Uh, as well as uh, cod and uh, porgies. Uh, again, up in the sound, very good black fishing too. Um, surf fishing, very good. A lot of good reports coming in from places like uh, like Finns, the sand beaches along the South Fork, uh, fishing the uh, shoreline and the harbors up in the sound. Uh, that's mostly bluefish with some bass mixed in and some bass along the open beaches um, of the sound. Uh, mixed with bluefish. Uh, Montauk, uh, the town beach, has been good the last couple of days this week. Uh, Lisa Fox weighed a 34 pounder in at Paulie's Bait and Tackle uh, yesterday. Uh, bass and some big blues in Fort Pond Bay in Montauk too. So 
That's, uh, that's something different from Montauk. The past two seasons have seen virtually no bass in Montauk after the second week of October. So it looks like that jinx has been broken. Uh, there is a decent body of fish now in Montauk. Uh, so if you're planning a trip, uh, you can count on, on finding some action out there. Uh, demo is good. I know uh, Tuesday morning, uh, if you made the walk to the tip of the bar, there's some good action out there. Um, and speaking of surf fishing, the Babylon uh, Cup Surf Tournament is this weekend. That runs from Friday, 6 p.m. to 1 p.m. Sunday. Uh, it's a $20 entry fee. You can register uh, Friday evening at Cedar Beach Overlook in the parking lot. There'll be a way station set up. Look for the camper. And um, uh, it's open to Babylon residents and non-residents as well. And uh, non-residents will have access to Babylon Town Beaches uh, for the weekend. Uh, you want more information on that, you can either go to our calendar events or you can call 631-957-4482. Until next week, I'm Fred Golafaro for thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Intelux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.